We discuss the history of the atomic bomb. Starting in the early part of the 20th century, several scientists began examining the idea of radioactivity. Some of the most famous members of this nuclear club were people like Ernest Rutherford, Niels Bohr, Marie Curie and her husband, Albert Einstein, Leo Szilard, Otto Hahn, and Lise Meitner. By 1908, Rutherford announced that he had found the alpha particle, which was identical to a helium atom. It's the particle that is released in all radioactive substances. By 1911, he was able to see and describe the nucleus of an atom. Over the next few decades, the scientists began to ask new questions like, can we split an atom, a process known as fission? What element would yield the easiest split, and what element would split and give the most amount of energy? Also, which element could sustain a nuclear chain reaction? In the early 30s, Enrico Fermi and his team bombarded elements with slow neutrons to see if critical mass could be achieved, discovering uranium's potential. In 1938, the first successful fission experiments were performed by Otto Hahn of Germany and Lise Meitner, who was hiding from the Nazis in the Netherlands. Nations scrambled to take advantage. It was also 1938 that Hitler began his aggressive moves on his perceived state enemies and on his neighbors, which concerned the global community. Many of the Jewish nuclear club scientists, including Szilard, Einstein, Meitner, and Fermi, who was married to a Jewish woman, slipped out of Germany, Italy, and Austria. Hitler put Heisenberg, Hahn, and others on the project to develop a sustained nuclear reaction, and also to create a heavy water reactor. The Japanese, the British, and the Americans also scrambled to try and recreate Han's successful tests. The scientists in America, which included many of the escaped scientists, were able to create uranium-235 isotopes, which were found to have the best capability of fission. That was until 1942, when American chemist Glenn Seaborg bombarded uranium-238 and discovered plutonium-239 which was more explosive, lighter, and easier to produce. In 1939, Einstein and Szilard wrote a letter to FDR concerned that Hitler was going to successfully design and build atomic weapons. The U.S. immediately tasked hundreds of agencies to come up with solutions. After Pearl Harbor, all coordination was moved to the University of Chicago, and an official alliance was made with the British and Canadian work. It was labeled the Manhattan Project. The science work was led by Fermi, and in 1942, they created a 4.5-minute nuclear chain reaction under the stadium at the university. The Germans were delayed at this point as materials were being prioritized for the war. Also, due to the fact that British and Norwegian commandos launched several successful sabotage and bombing runs against a German heavy water plant in Norway. And in the end, the Norwegians sunk the German ship that was attempting to move the heavy water from the plant. Elsewhere, the Japanese had authorized work on their atomic bomb in 1941 under the leadership of Yoshio Nishina, who had worked with Niels Bohr. Their progress was also delayed by the war. The Soviet Union had also been delayed by the war and the Nazi invasion, but after Stalingrad turned the tide in 43, the project picked up steam under Igor Kurchatov. And in the United States, the Manhattan Project was put under Colonel Leslie Groves. <laughs>